And that means welcome, baby, to Orchids for Dummies, a place where you can get your life. In today's video, I will be doing a repotting of my Shellerania Wilson. Yes, God, I will. And I want you guys to understand that this is the final setup of how I repot my orchids. This is also a conclusion to the review from my Shellerania from Norman's. So you ought to stay tuned. And welcome on back, baby. Now, mama will not be before you long, okay? This will not be a long repotting video, honey. It will not be a long repotting video at all. So, the first thing, and I'm only using one glove because mama is being economical. <laughs> oh, God. So, this is my first time watering it. And I um, watered it, of course, to help get the... Um, this sphagnum moss out of here, whatever this is. Oh Lord, let's zoom in for you, honey. Let's zoom in, honey. Let's let's zoom in so you see what I see. Okay. And this norm is honey. Norm is supposed to be world renowned, honey. Ugh, ugh. I really need to have on two gloves. I really should have on two gloves. This is this this is this ooey and gooey. It's ooey and gooey. But not in a good way. Oh, my God. This is... Oh, honey. I'm not going to call no names. Yes, honey. I need two gloves for this, mama. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm not going to call out names, but, honey, somebody I know said they going to put a stop payment on Norman, honey. And, honey, look like I should, too, honey. I mean, people not spending $50 and up just to um, work on sick orchids, okay? That's not what we're doing, honey. I don't even know what this foolishness is, honey, but it is scary. It is scary, and it don't smell good. Y'all, this is low down. I swear, honey, if I had time to do a stop payment on something... I would do it on Norman. But I tell you one thing, I was actually being hopeful that, I mean, just this is how it is. <laughs> it's out of bloom. There's nothing wrong with the work. It is okay. Now, Norman said to wait a whole month, honey, before you repot it because that could be detrimental to the health of the orchid. Well, honey, if I had waited a month, honey, what would have happened? Because I don't see any roots. You see what I see? This is... Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Be a fence. There's no good roots on here. I am so disgusted. I am flabbergasted. I am disappointed. I have ordered six, maybe more orchids from Norman. They had more that I had planned on ordering. Everyone in the group, this has messed up the birthday orchids, so... Honey, I don't know what we are going to do, but we would definitely not be shopping at Norman's anymore. I defended him. I defended him. I stuck up for him. I tried to speak up, honey, when everybody else was speaking down. That's the only active root tip right there. Hmm. I'm not even going to pack this up. I'm not going to waste my orchid out of bark and my good spag in the mouse, honey. No, ma'am. Not on this. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. 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 Honey, this is just a better look of what was inside of the pot that I was supposed to wait a whole month before I repot it. This is what was in here, honey. Just a name, honey. Mama not making it up. Mama not making it up. I'm sorry. Mama not making it up. 
actually decided to do was just treat it with some, um, you know, hydrogen peroxide, spraying the roots to eliminate any bacteria or any type of fungus or virus that might be attached to it. I pulled off all of the extra, um, you know, all of the extra velamen or the skin of the roots off and left only just a little. I didn't cut the roots because in scenarios like this where the orchid has no roots, it's going to be almost impossible to hydrate it. Now, I'm left with um, this root right here, which isn't in the best of condition, and this one as well. Um, I'm going to try to brush the media off of the root. I'm sorry. Let me zoom in, and I'm going to do it really gently with... Um, my toothbrush because we're trying to get this black mold off of it okay this is rot rotted material that's not going to be good for our orchid at all so just really softly if it does not all come off that is okay that's just an indication that this is going to be a phalaenopsis that is going to do very well in moss okay instead of bark it's going to do better in gonna do better in um I'm sorry in water culture. I mean I'm sorry in moss honey. I'm trying to make sure I don't do anything wrong with the one good root. But you have to understand all of this decaying matter, all of this old stuff will talk um you know it would toxify your water that you want to be very pure or rainwater when you're doing water culture. And I'm just going to sit in inside of this. Okay. So I'm going to rinse it off. And sit it in here like this. And start water culture on it. <sighs> I'm going to try to put it in a bright window, honey. But guys, thank you so much for staying tuned, honey. This is Norman's Orchid, honey. This is what I paid $50 for, honey. This was shipping with $15, honey. $15, honey. And this is what I got. Now, this is my Shilleriana or Shillerania Wilson with the variegated leaves, honey. This is her, and she's a little upset with me because I've moved her around. She's a little upset. Those area roots does not look as perked up as they used to be. But she is doing just fine, honey. You see the veining in her leaves? That's a strong leaf. That's a strong leaf. This right here is the new leaf that is um, that came out from the last video. I'm not sure if it is still growing or not. I'm trying to let her acclimate. Acclimate mean get used to this new room that she is in that receives brighter sunlight, okay? So that's my baby, this is my shell right now, okay? And I'm a new grower. Now, Fail Pals, although Norman has not contacted me about this orchid, um, no resolve will be made, I suppose. I did order two other orchids from him um, for Dear Foul Pals in my Facebook group. You should join. You should join, honey. You should join. But um, their orchids were beautiful. And um, Foul Pal Lisa, who is our plug, she ordered them for us. So obviously it's a special type of way that you have to order orchids from him to get the good quality orchids. So I will remain shopping with him because once he, when he gets it right, he gets it right. And sometimes you have to just bite the bullet, I suppose. And I definitely had to bite the bullet with this Shellerania phalaenopsis. Until next time.